Hi, and welcome to part three of this PowerShell tutorial series on RESTPS. Uh, so in the last video, we've seen how to create routes with request arguments. Uh, so very similar, like a query string, we were able to uh, create. So let me just show you guys in our PowerShell window here. We created um, something similar to this, where we were able to put in an office um, and a title and we were able to pull back our Active Directory users based on this. And then if they didn't have an ampersand sign, anything that they passed in as a property and value, we can do a search on that. And then it would give us invalid requests if it did not work properly. The only limitation to this is when we had a city like New York, because of the space, um, this method does not work. It needs to be done uh, through a body. So. Basically, in an API request, you could just pass in through the query string or a request argument, or sometimes you could pass in what's called a body, which is usually formatted in JSON, and then um, we can treat that body and provide a similar outcome um, to this route. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building out this new route, taking in a body. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get started on that. I already have my listener listening. Um, so we're just going to go ahead. We are going to create a new PowerShell script here. So the first thing we're going to want to do, um, just like the last one, is we're going to start off with param open and close parentheses. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a request args, comma, and then underneath that we're going to put in a body. So we're going to still take in request arguments, but we're also going to take in um, a body as well. And then what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to take in, we are going to create a variable called um, formatted body, which is going to be equal to body. And we're going to pipe that to convert from dash JSON. So it's going to take our JSON body and convert it into a PowerShell object that we can then read from. Um, and that's going to be called the formatted body. So then what we want to do is we already know that in our body, we are going to be um, taking in office and title. So what we just need to do is we need to create a variable called office. And we are going to set that to formatted body dot office we're going to have a property called title and we're going to set that to formatted body dot title and then what we need to do so this is going to be a little bit more complicated in um, our if statements um, but what we're going to do is we're going to do if office and title so very similar to the last one here we're going to return something and then we're going to do an else if just office. And then we're going to do an else if just title. And then we are going to do an else. Then in our else, we're going to do a return invalid body slash request. All right, so here we are. So we're going to have our office and title option here first. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a um, users equals get PD user filter. Same thing as last time. Office like office properties is going to be star server. We're going to specify jack.ca. And then where object title is like title. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a return users. And then the office. So we're just going to copy this here. And then we're going to do a return users and then the same thing for the title but we're going to change title and title here so very very similar to our other 
um, option here. Uh, but it all comes from the body. We don't need to check for the ampersand. It gives us a little bit less flexibility per se for um, just taking anything in a body. Um, we definitely need to code all of our different options. Um, but that's pretty much it. So that should look good here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to wrap all of this in a try. And then a catch statement. And then in our catch statement, um, we're going to do return the invalid body request. Because what might happen is if the JSON isn't properly formatted, this will error. So that should be good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do, uh, we're going to call this get 80 users two, And then we're going to create a route for it. So let's go ahead and let's do the edit with notepad plus plus here. And then we're going to do another get. And then we're going to call this one users body um, just to make it a little bit more obvious. So this is what I mean. Like you can definitely make these a little bit more user friendly with the names, um, but this should work for now. Like typically you would only really make one of these. Um, so it would just be users in general. So let's go ahead and let's close out of this here. And let's see if it works. So let's go into Postman. Let's go and let's put in our HTTP. Oops, HTTP 172.30.123.5 port 8080 in our case. And we're going to do users body. And then what will happen is if we do a send, we get invalid body request. Um, so we need to do a body. Um, so here we have it. We're going to do a, we're going to format our body here in just, uh, we can do it in raw format. So if we do our open and close parentheses here, we do a, um, quote, quote, I believe it's going to be title here. And then we're going to do a colon quote, quote, CEO. I think that that should work. Yep. There we are. So we have our body, uh, which is the open and close curly brackets. We have our title, which is going to be our property and the value, which is CEO. And we do get Frederick Smith. So then what happens is if we do a, uh, let's say office, is going to be uh, New York. And I think that this is not going to bring up anything as I don't believe that it is New York. So if we just have office New York City, we get everyone from New York City. So we have Bell Hines and we have Winnie Robertson. So that is that there. And we can do um, title. Uh, we can do, once again, we can put some stars. So let's see if there's any developers in New York City. Uh, we don't have anything. Well, we just do. Oops. Oops. We need to add the comma if you have more than one property here. So let's just do that. And there we have, we have all the developers in New York. So we have Bell Hines, um, and that's actually the only one that we have. So we only have one user, which is developer, Bell Hines, uh, which if we scroll down here, we can see that we get, so we have the employee ID. Um, and let's, if we scroll down all the way to title here, Hopefully I did not skip it. Office is in New York. And then our title is junior developer. So that is perfect. So that is how you would use a body in REST PS. Um, I believe that um, 
probably a lot easier to just use the body for all the APIs that you would make in PowerShell. But by, by all means, if it's something that's super simple, like let's say you want to make a uh, route to get a user by SAM account name, um, and you want to just call it like username or something by all means, like the request arg is probably super easy. Um, there's no real point to make it super complicated with a body. Uh, but you can make tons of these types of commands. Um, in the next videos, we're going to look at some delete, um, routes and some, uh, put routes, uh, just to give you guys some more examples of some different routes. Since we've seen get routes in the two ways of request args and body, just really wanted to show you guys the differences between um, just calling a route with just arguments and calling one with a body and showing you guys the different limitations of one compared to the other. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. So if you did like the video, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when the next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.